Karen, two relatives of the Depression-era desperado now say it may not have been Dillinger who was gunned down by G-men on July 22, 1934. They want the corpse, allegedly Dillinger's, dug up from an Indianapolis grave where it's been more than 85 years. New records obtained tonight by the I-Team reveal the disparities that family members say they have learned, prompting them to ask for a re-examination of the body. John Dillinger's Tommy Gun. The outlaw had left it behind that summertime night when he came to the Biograph Theater on Chicago's north side. Dillinger only had this pistol as he left the show and darted down an alley. And law enforcement officials say when he turned to shoot, they killed him. Now, these newly filed affidavits from a man and woman who say they are Dillinger's nephew and niece challenge the decades-old scenario, claiming the body may not, in fact, have been my uncle, John H. Dillinger. They want the body buried here since 1934, exhumed so that modern-day DNA tests can compare the old bones with DNA from current relatives. The affidavits state that new evidence includes the non-match of his eye color, the ear shape and protrusion from the head, the finger fingerprints not matching, the existence of a heart condition, and the apparent non-match of the anterior teeth. Questions about the Dillinger corpse have dogged the investigation for decades. As the I-Team reported in 2009, a Cook County coroner report lists Dillinger's eye color as brown, even though he was known to have blue eyes. Although in 1984, then Cook County medical examiner Robert Stein explained that there can be some clouding of the cornea and you could have difficulty telling the color of the iris. The coroner's report does indicate heart issues and some postmortem photos reveal protruding ears, although Dillinger had been shot in the face, among other places. As for allegations of non-matching fingerprints, according to FBI reports from 1934, there was a fingerprint match between the body and Dillinger. In a statement just into the I-Team, Chicago FBI officials dispute that an imposter was killed that night, a spokesperson saying agents shot and killed Dillinger, bringing an end, they said, to the gangster era. A September 16th exhumation that could prove that once and for all is not even a certainty. A spokesman for the History Channel that will be on hand to film it if it does happen tells the I-Team they are still waiting for additional government approval. Of course, the History Channel is owned by a division of the Walt Disney Company, which owns this television station. We have not heard back from any Dillinger family members, despite a number of messages we've left for them. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.